Good morning. So glad to be with you again. My name is Pastor Matt. I'm from the uh, Hollister campus. And just a few thoughts today as uh, we consider safety. And this is a word that I've been hearing more and more recently. And uh, instead of a goodbye, a little wave, uh, people tell me to be safe. And that's whether uh, seeing some friends um, now that we're kind of getting out and about a bit, or even at the grocery store, I'll say, have a nice day, and they'll say, be safe. And I'm not against safety, but I'm not sure that the focus of life should be safety. So growing up in the country, there were lots of opportunities for me to not be safe, and uh, opportunities like um, riding motorcycles. And yeah, I should have been safer the time I drove my motorcycle off the cliff and ended up in the ER. Yeah, I probably could have been a little bit safer around the ball field, uh, especially that time that uh, that ball on the third bounce. You guys, ball players, know what I mean by the third bounce. I misjudged it playing second base, ended up right in my nose, and uh, left a lot of blood on the field that day. Sorry. I know that some people are squeamish with that type of thing. Um, there are lots of areas where I could have been safer. You know, I, I dropped a, a pipe on my toe and split it and smashed it. My toe, at, at, since I was like 10 years old, it's never been the same. But should I have just stayed inside all summer long instead of getting out and messing around out in the country? Should I have never ridden motorcycles? Should I have never played baseball? And there's something about this idea of boldness that I think is scriptural. Um, I think of Paul when he's writing a letter to his protege in Ephesus. And his protege's name was Timothy. And he had already uh, given him an exhortation in his ordination. That as he leads the church in Ephesus, he had already told them that uh, he should not worry about his age. Lead them well. Um, but then he has to come back and bring another exhortation, telling him to be bold. Let's read that scripture right now. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God gave us his spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. I really like that verse because in and of myself, I can be timid. And I don't want to be the timid guy. I want to be the guy that's bold for my faith. I think of uh, the charge that God gave Joshua when he stepped out on to lead the nation of Israel. This is after Moses' uh, death. And in Joshua 1.9, it says, Be bold, for the Lord thy God is with thee. When I look at the people of the Old Testament and the New Testament, I don't see a lot of timidity when they're being empowered by the Holy Spirit, when they're empowered by God. I think of people like David, who went and fought many battles and stood against Saul. I think of, uh, in the New Testament, we think of Paul, the, the apostle, who uh, withstood many lashes to the point of death, who withstood shipwrecks. Should he have gone to Rome? Well, everybody was telling him no, but he knew that Rome was where God was calling him, and ultimately he would martyr. He'd be martyred there. Um, listen, we've got to be safe. Don't do stupid stuff, you know. I didn't intend to drive my motorcycle off of a cliff. But we can be bold while we're being smart at the same time. We can be bold in our faith because now is a time. The fields are white unto the harvest, as Scripture says. There are many people who are open to the Scripture, maybe for the first time. There are some of you that are listening today that have probably invited people to come and listen to our sermons, our Sunday sermons, and people are receiving these words. But now is the time to take that next step hey, where are you with this whole faith thing? Um, the church, it's not time to be safe. 
It's time for the church to increase its pain threshold. It's not easy to be bold. It's not easy to put timidity behind you. But now is the time, church. We have to strengthen that muscle of boldness so that we can bring about his kingdom. Isn't that the prayer that we pray on Sunday mornings? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let's pull heaven towards earth through our boldness today. God bless you guys. I'm going to pray us out. Father in heaven, I pray a spirit of boldness, no spirit of timidity with those who are joining us today, that your kingdom would come and that your will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in peace.